Telling real stories for me is a very important thing because I've come to realize that a lot of people don't have a voice. And at one point I was one of those people. I think telling real stories of real people can have an impact in the world. Hi, I'm Fernando Lara and I'm a producer for the Utah Education and Telehealth Network. My job at UETN as a producer, uh, I'm in charge of a weekly TV show called Art Connection. We feature and highlight uh, art organizations that have an educational focus uh, in the state. My other part of my job is also to help with any other productions that uh, we do with UEN, from our uh, PDTV productions. I also work as a, as a producer for our podcast homeroom, but yeah, my main job is to produce content um, for our TV channel and our social media channels as well. My education experience was a little bit uh, non-traditional. Um, after graduating high school, I started going to Slick um, for my generals um, for about two and a half years, and I was just going part-time. When I decided to transfer from Slick to the University of Utah, um, I, I didn't really know what uh, I wanted to study. I just thought, oh, maybe I'll get into business or marketing or something like that. But then I remember taking a couple classes um, at Slick that, that were new media and, and content, produ uh, content production. Uh, and that kind of sparked my interest um, in, in film. And I remember watching this one documentary called Beats, Rhymes, and Life, The Travels of a Tribe Called Quest. And that, when I watched that, I said, that's what I want to do. That's, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. In 2010, I started making YouTube videos and I met with uh, some local musicians and started making music videos with them. Uh, and that's when I actually created my own freelance uh, video production company called Fill It In Productions. That kind of took off and allowed me to work with lots of organizations here in Utah, uh, doing promotional work, doing commercial work. And uh, that led me to go to the University of Utah to pursue a degree in film and media arts. And in 2017, I was able to start working with uh, the Utah Education and Telehealth Network, uh, and I've been, it's been almost five years. Life outside of work uh, has been a little bit different the, la the last two years. Um, since the pandemic started, we've been working remotely. And um, at the time the pandemic started in 2020, uh, my, little, my little boy was about a year and a couple months old. And so we took him out of daycare and everything and we kept, uh, we kept him home. So trying to find a balance at first was, was very, very challenging. Uh, and it's still a little bit challenging now with two kids. Uh, I have um, a little four month old baby plus our son that's gonna be three years old soon. But it's worked for, for me and my wife. Uh, we both work from home. So uh, I, I think it's, it's been a, a really, like as a challenging thing, but also um, I wouldn't trade it for the world because I've been able to bond with my kids um, in a different level that I never thought I, I, I would. Because my son, when he was, since he was born after four months old, he was in daycare. So having him, being able to watch him grow essentially these last couple of years and being with, with him and, uh, and now my, my daughter, it's been a really cool experience. What I like to do for fun outside of work, I love watching movies, I love watching shows, and I'm a big comic book nerd. Uh, I love sci-fi, I love fantasy and all of that, so, um, you know, I, lo I love watching all those, um, the Marvel movies, the uh, Matrix, the Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter and all that stuff. Uh, I like to collect comic books and uh, collectibles and little toys uh, for myself. Um, you know, I think I'm a, uh, my, my wife likes to joke that um, now that I'm an adult, I can buy all the toys that I want. Uh, and I just disguise it as buying toys for my son, uh, when in reality it's just toys for me. So, <laughs> and just kind of hanging out with family, um, you know, just making sure that, that we're all taken care of and, uh, you know, we're all happy at the end of the day. That's, I think that's what matters.
I think the most rewarding thing about my job with UEN uh, is one, working with an amazing team of women. All of us have different skills and you know we can all work as a team, but also if we need to, we can be spread thin and each of us can handle a production on our own. The other part is being able to be a mentor um, to students around the state in, uh, in media and film production. Uh, we've uh, partnered with uh, the PBS Student Reporting Labs the last couple of years and we've been able to go into classrooms to uh, teach kids about uh, how to make a, a, a video, how to make a movie, how to uh, you find a career during, in, in broadcast and, and just to show them like, what we do, right? Uh, a lot of these kids uh, nowadays, you know, they have phones and they're making content, they're on social media. Uh, and I think being able to kind of channel that creativity for them into them being able to tell their story, uh, it's very important to me. And, and being able to empower them to, to have a voice of themselves as well and to be able to do it themselves. So, so that's, that's what I'm very passionate about here. One, one of my big pushes is to be able to, to teach the kids to tell their story and to, to not be afraid to try um, new things, uh, you know, with film or audio. So that's a wrap. Cool. Thanks.